come back to a beautiful day. Today I'm on a little adventure, something a little bit different as I'm actually walking out my front door. So I live two minutes that way. My plan is to do a wild camp on a disused viaduct. Um, it's relatively close to where I live, but I'm going to go the long way around and I'm going to show you a few bits and pieces as we make our way there. So stick around and see how we get on. Come on, let's do it. Well, I've had this camp planned for quite a while, but I've been waiting for certain things to fall into place, i.e. kids go back to school, uh, a nice day so I can get some nice astro tonight if possible, uh, but mainly the children going back to school because I don't know, with it being so local, I don't know who's going to be about, um, so hopefully it's going to be a bit quieter tonight. Anyway, yeah. this what we're on here is an old train line which used to go around to uh, it was called Giddelaw number one pit and just a bit further back that way is an old way bridge and just here I'll give you a look at there used to be an old house and this is a bomb shelter that used to be in the back garden so I'll give you a look at that right. I've got the torch out there you go this was uh, I think it, they used to call it the red brick house or something like that but this was the bomb shelter it used to be in the back garden. See if I can give you a look inside. Ah, it's obviously all full of um, muck. But there you go. That's the entrance out the back there. A lot of it's been backfill now. So, yeah. I think if it was a bit further away from civilization, you might even attempt a wild camp in here. But there's too many goons around. Anyway, let's crack on. So Wigan is quite well known for coal. Used to be a lot of pits in, in and around Wigan. And a lot of them actually join up underground. There's miles of tunnels. As I said before, this is um, an old railway line that links back to the main uh, West Coast main line. You follow that down, it's now a factory called Millican, I think. Um, it used to be an old ammunition factory back in the day. So this area I'm walking through now it used to be part of the uh, coal wash. It's now been reclaimed by nature, and you do normally see a few nice bits of wildlife around here actually. And like I've just been telling you, back that way is the old uh, coal wash. And then this area is where all the spoil got dumped from all the industries years ago. All slag heaps. A vast piece of open space, which is slowly but surely being taken back by nature. Oh, without realising it. I think this wild camp's probably going to have a bit of a theme. Railways, railway lines, camping on a viaduct. This, what we're walking on now, is called the mineral line. It joins back into the one that we was on earlier. Straight as a die. This goes all the way up to Standish. And probably onwards, not 100% sure on that. Probably linked a lot of the uh, mines together. Like I said before, there were so many of them in such a close proximity. 
you know, get low pits that way, Standish Drift Mine, um, Taylor Pit and John Pit, uh, they're all around here and this line linked them all together in one big loop when you look on an old map but now they make great footpaths to get you out and about like I said before these are my local haunts and if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen some of the wildlife pictures that I take when I come out and when I bring the long lens I've dropped you a couple of pictures on now what I've taken in the past got deer, buzzard, kestrels as I said before I feel quite lucky to have it on my doorstep so now I'm going to be turning off this uh, railway line I've got a bit of road work to do cut through a park and then I'll be heading down towards where I'm going to camp tonight uh, if you do know where it is I'd rather you didn't say in the comments it's going to be easy enough to find if you google it but I just don't want to broadcast it so keep it to yourselves We'll have cleared the first main road in the park. We're just picking our way through some little back paths between a few houses. And then we've just got one small open space and then one more road to cross. That's the road where I don't really want to be seen because a little bit stealthy this one. So this here, that's the West Coast main line and just a little bit further back there is where the Welly Loop line used to link into it and that's where we'll be camping tonight on the old Welly Loop line so I'm actually walking on the Welly Loop line now probably just hear a train now going down the West Coast main line though and at this point it would have crossed over the main road and then sweeped behind the houses where we're going to go I need to be a bit sneaky here you now. It's not locked, it's still a path, but I just don't want people seeing me. So what I'm going to do now, put the camera away for a minute, get across this main road, best I can without being seen, which is just down there, and straight across into the trees on the other side. So I'll bring you back when I get across over there. Right, we're across. I'm going to keep it down a bit down here because we go around the back of some houses and the least people know the better hopefully fingers crossed we ain't going to see anybody now because this path it's not a well used path to be fair so let's see how we get on you might just be able to see some upstands there <coughs> that's from one of the other old bridges they all linked together at, at some stage but that one used to go up towards Adlington where again that's been converted now into a, a cycle where I'm just going to pick my way through here and then we're just going to head a bit further down the valley I don't know if you can see that just there in the trees some more remnants of the railway line again this is the railway line that we're on now so these are known the upstands are known as dominoes and this is where the welly loop line would have gone over that main line like I say it goes up to Adlington that I'm not sure what it was called though but we're going to carry on a bit further down
Well, this is it. I know there's a gate though. But, as you can see, it is unlocked. Come on, let's go and see what it's about. Well, this is it. This is home for the night. I brought the hammock today because I've been here before and I knew there was quite a selection of trees up here that I can string the hammock across. Um, just deciding which side of the viaduct to go on. Probably stay this end if I'm being honest. A bit less conspicuous at this side. So yeah. Let's do it. set up in the hammock. You've seen that before. That's just a cheap uh, under quilt off Amazon and it's the Overmont uh, hammock with bug net. You get everything with that. You get all the straps, carabiner to put it up. It was only about 30 quid but it does for me because I don't do a lot of hammock camping. And then over here, that's camp kitchen. Got the wood gas stove today and I brought my little mess burner. Um, I might have a brew with a mess burner and then I'll run the wood gas stove later. So I've got some cat litter for that. And then just over there, I've got a time lapse running. So when I bring the wood gas stove and I'm going to use my burner with it, I just turn the basket upside down in the wood gas stove. That can sit there. And then I just put the top on over the top like that. And then I'll be able to put the kettle straight on the top there. And then later on, I'll fill it up and light it up and I can cook my tea on it. Also, save bulk nice and thin that's what I keep the uh, ethanol in that is a um, contact lens bottle and just take the top off so unscrew that You've got a nice point on nice direct way and filling your mess stove up and they aren't bulky either top tip Oh, we're just waiting for the kettle to boil. 
you can probably just see over my shoulder there. That's what I pointed out before. Them's the dominoes. That's where another train bridge went over the top. But where we are, this is the Welly Loop Line. And there's where I'm sleeping tonight. Buzzard. Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit gutted. I've only left the uh, battery for my main camera at home on charge. So, any astro pictures I was hoping for tonight, that's gone out the window. But, live and learn, don't rush out the house. Other than that, everything's going all right. Cheers. Told you before, got the wood gas stove tonight. I'm going to be running that on some cat litter, the wood cat litter. And tonight's meal is going to be pasta bolognese. No packets tonight. It's half seven now. So, Stella time. Cheers, everybody. That sky over there is pinking up lovely. Wait for a nice sunset. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, or whether it'll show on this camera. Beautiful that. Right. No special lighting techniques here. Leave that. Just gonna fill it up. Gonna be filling it just before the lines, uh, the holes on the side, sorry. And I always just use a fire lighter. It's just far easier than trying to faff about. I'm just going to fill around that now because these wood gas stoves burn from the top down and then I can just light the uh, the fire lighter and then just give it a bit of time now then that'll start gasifying off and all the flames will start licking back through them holes then we can start cooking our tea so it's getting in a bit that now so I'm going to start preparing my tea pre-cooked, homemade just going to go straight in the straight in the pan I'm just going to pre-warm it it's not started gasifying yet that but it's not far off but it'll be uh, okay to cook on. I'll give you a closer look in a second. And then there's my pasta, which I'll put in the other bowl. There you go. <coughs> What's not to like? And remember everybody, take your rubbish home. It's not difficult. I'll lose my tea. And there's the wood gas stove. It's well in now, but it hasn't started gasifying yet. When it starts gasifying, there'll be no smoke at all coming from that. 
but I'm going to get my tea on there and start cooking. It'll be plenty warm enough to cook your tea that. There's plenty of heat in that fire. Warming this up in no time. Polonaise and ash raz out of the bottle too. Mmm, lovely. Well, I reckon we're ready. I'm just draining my pasta off. Not more than ready. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. the bolognese on a disused viaduct what's not to like look art of art absolutely beautiful oh much better than them packet meals mmm tea. I'm just going to sit here now, have my wine, wait till that burns out and then I'll get my head down. It's probably been going 45 minutes already that. It'll last a while. The only downside is very sooty when you cook. Um, your pans get very sooty when you cook with them. But other than that, really good. Nice little bit of warmth coming from it. Chill out for the rest of the night. Watch the sky. What a beautiful night. I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted I've not got my camera. Because the stars are beginning to come out now. I've tried taking a few of my phone, but it's just not the same. There'll be another time though. Cheers. That's it. End of a perfect night. What a beautiful night it's been tonight. There's no pictures, as I said before, but... I'm, I, I know I've said it before, but I'm gutted I forgot the, the uh, battery. There's some great stars out there tonight. I've got a time lapse running, so hopefully we'll see uh, a nice time lapse of the moon rising above the, uh, the viaduct where I'm currently camping. So I'll catch you in the morning. Night night, folks. survived that's the main thing it's a quite a pleasant night last night no wind at all still as anything what a lovely night to be out really clear skies last night too um i have i did set a time lapse going so you'll have seen that by now 
so hopefully, hopefully it was okay so I'm gonna get myself up it's just a coffee and a cereal bar this morning and then pack up and head for home so I'll see you in a bit well breakfast doesn't come much simpler than this a nice cup of coffee and a cereal bar kettle's boiling Cheers. And welcome to a, another beautiful day. I'll eat this and then I'll start wrapping up. I'll see you in a bit. Take your time when you're packing away. Makes it much easier when you're setting back up again. Which could be in the rain. That's it, we're all packed up. As you can see, absolutely zero trace that I was ever here. The only trace of me being on this bridge will be this video that I've uploaded to YouTube. And that's how it should be. Make sure you take all your rubbish home every single time great views down off the viaduct though I just want to take time as well just to say a quick thank you uh, after my last video and after Chris giving me a big shout out I got loads of subs off that I must have got 40 or 50 subs off that so I've nearly hit the 1000 mark so thanks very much everybody if you like what you see hit the subscribe button it's free a bit very much appreciated I don't normally ask for subs but why I'm so close to the thousand, I thought, I'll give it a go. What I'll do as usual, I'm going to drop you some pictures I've taken in the past, because obviously my camera's uh, had no battery today. Um, and if there's any wildlife pictures I've got there as well, why I've been out around these areas, I'll show you them too. I'm going to head off that way now, and I'm going to take the Darut Dar route home. Darut way home. Um, so I'll bring you back when I get a bit closer to home. Hope you enjoy the pictures. I'll stick a bit of drone footage on too. That's it, it's the end of another adventure. That was an epic night, that, I really enjoyed it. Hope you did too. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the pictures I've just put on at the end and that bit of drone footage. I'm two minutes away from home now, so I'm gonna go home for a well-earned shower and another brew. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.